Uh, this is the TP2 Bearing Electrodes program in Whole Center. The idea of our program is to develop a protection layer for flexible OLED, flexible OPV, and flexible display applications. So the demonstration today is to show the extreme conditions that our barrier could survive and protect the OLED device. If you look at the very first demo that we have right here, it's a rollable OLED lighting tile with our barrier at the top and the, at the bottom, a flexible OLED. And it's a 30 millimeter diameter rolling radius and we can roll it over 10,000 times and the OLED still survives. Which shows the mechanical integrity, integrity of our barrier for the OLED lighting application. If we move to the next demonstration, we want to show a range of temperature conditions that the barrier could protect the OLED. In the very first scenario, we have an OLED in a cube of ice in sub-zero conditions. And the blue emission is actually from the flexible OLED um, in this scenario. If we make, move to the next demo, this is a very simple concept showing a flexible OLED in a liquid. So you can imagine you can have a water bottle or a product where you need emission or a display inside um, the liquid. So this is one of the conceptual ideas you can get from this demonstration. Moving on to the fish tank, um, what you do see is a number of flexible OLEDs, different colors, different configurations, and the flexibility of it. And again, our OLED barriers protects the device very well in such a condition. Going from the very cold to the very hot, our very last demonstration is a flexible OLED in a boiling water. It will take some time to boil up. So our OLED still survives in this very extreme conditions above 100 degrees Celsius.